everyone, this is Bick Hauser, and I want to welcome you to the Sands Country Club, home of the 1986 Phil Esposito Invitational. You know, it's not often that a guy like me gets the opportunity to work in the anchor booth with a living legend. A guy who has rewritten the record books in hockey. This guy has done it all. Well, unfortunately, he couldn't be here with me today. So instead, I've asked Phil Esposito to join me here in the anchor booth. Wait, wait, Phil, wait, wait, it's great to have you wait here. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Who, who are you talking about? I thought you were talking about me. No, this is Wayne, my tournament. No, Wayne Gretzky is going to be here with us today. That little runt, he's doing it to me again. I can't believe it. I mean, he's wrecked my every record I ever had. Now he's even getting me in this. Are you kidding me? Wayne Gretzky, Wayne Gretzky. I'm sick of Wayne Gretzky. By the way, I wonder if he'll trade Wayne Gretzky. Well, you know, Phil, you're a le you're a legend too in your own mind. But now, yeah, but now, true. <laughs> yeah. But but now, let's talk about the field of golfers you've assembled here. Who, do you have a favorite? Can you pick a favorite here? Well, I'm, I, you know, I've been watching these guys warm up and all that, and I've had the ple pleasure and the privilege of playing with Wayne Johnstone. Wayne, you, you, why would you pick Wayne as a favorite? He is so determined, this guy. He is so determined, no matter what. We played against uh, with, with in the Lee Trevino, and he was in rough. He's behind trees. He wants to win. He's a gambler that loves to win at gambling. He likes to win at everything he does, and I just think that he's determined enough he's going to do it. <laughs> okay, Phil, well, but how about Peter Mahovlich? Boy, he, he can sure hit those woods. Yeah, but he has trouble getting into them. The woods, you know. Look at him; he's always in the woods. <laughs> well, look, look, Wayne Cashman, no, great short game. Yeah, but you know, the short game is not supposed to be off the tee, and that's all Cash does. I mean, he's <laughs> short on the tee. He shorts up plays else too. <laughs> Oh. All right, I got one last question for you, Phil, before we get on down to the action. And that's about the field of golfers we've assembled here. What can you tell me about these guys? Well, that's all I can say is they've got so much etiquette, they've got class, uh, they just... In fact, you know, they're so good on a golf course with the etiquette and all that, I think we should rewrite the rule book a little bit and, and put into some of these rules that these guys have employed. I think it's just terrific. They're doing a great job. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. Let's get on now down to the action. Alexis Arguello, Miller Lite, take three. Hey, sport fans, this is Alexis Miller for uh, Arguello Lite. Cut! Cut! That. Your name is Arguello, the beer is Miller Lite. Alexis, you want to go a few rounds? Can you do this? Uh, right now, the way I feel, I don't think I can do it. I caught him. You know who I'm talking about. Tour idol, sex symbol, Pierre LaRouche. Pierre, you're a little upset today, though, and I wanted to ask you why. Well, it's because my partner, Wendell Brown. What's wrong with Wendell Brown? Boy, I met him last night, we had a couple of beers, and he told me he was a scratch golfer. Well, how's he playing today? That's what he's been doing all day, scratching. Alexis Arguello, Miller Lite, take 28. Hello, sport fans. How you doing up there? I'm fine. 